with our heroes Goku, Vegeta, and Future Trunks backed into a corner, forced and retreating to fight another day, Hart, Zamasu, Kamen, Orin, Lags, and Cumber prepare to enter the final phase of their plans in completing their mission to destroy the Gods of Destruction, Angels, and Omni King with the power they've been collecting for their Universal Seed, but with few plotting something sinister in the shadows involving Metal Cooler, what will be the fate of our heroes going forward as Cumber enters Universe 3 to battle against Metal Cooler, and our heroes having to retreat back to Universe 7 where Hearts is set to target, as I do want to go on ahead and welcome you all to my Super Dragon Ball Heroes Anime Episode 12 review, as at long last we are nearing the finale of the Universal Conflict arc involving Goku and Hearts, and being that now Hearts, Zamasu, Lags, Kamen, Orin are all traveling to Universe 7 in hopes of further collecting the last remnants of energy they need for their Universal Seed, the battle intensifies as our heroes now reclaim their position in having to battle and push back against the Sinister Six, but all the while few seems to be plotting something in the shadows that's going to further affect the outcome of this battle of course by enhancing fighters like Metal Cooler as again if you guys are new to this channel and of course love anime and Dragon Ball then be sure to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to never miss a single upload and of course if you guys enjoy Dragon Ball and have a love and passion for Dragon Ball then be sure to go on ahead and slap a big fat like down below and give this video a big thumbs up as we kick off Super Dragon Ball Heroes Anime Episode 12 exactly where we left off, with Hearts and the gang having to finally enter Universe 7, and in Universe 7, we not only have Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks waiting for Hearts, but also Piccolo and Android 17. So finally, they are giving other characters some spotlight and allowing them to feel relevant in Super Dragon Ball Heroes, even though one must ask the question as to what can Piccolo really do in all of this, at least we get to see Android 17 among the pack actually working with them. So, in the beginning, we see how Kamen and Orin directly target Super Saiyan Vegeta, which again, I think makes sense considering the fact that in the previous episodes, Kamen and Orin pursued Vegeta for the most part and even going as far as to fuse to fight against him, so it was really cool to see them tag team Vegeta, but as soon as Orin was about to blast Vegeta, Android 17 steps in in creating a barrier to shield Vegeta, which I thought was really, really cool. Then, we had the typical battle involving Future Trunks and Merge Zamasu, post PTSD, I love the fact that they're actually pairing these two together because it makes sense. And as Vegeta is overseeing this, Piccolo steps in, and as Piccolo steps in to fight Kamen and Orin, Vegeta goes off to pursue Merge Zamasu in helping his son, which again I think is a pretty cool thing, especially considering everyone's dynamic. We have Piccolo and 17 versus Kamen and Orin together, which I thought was pretty cool because if you guys remember back in Dragon Ball Z, Piccolo fought 17. They never really worked together so I really am impressed with 17 because finally we haven't seen anything from 17 since the tournament of power and now that he's actually teaming up with Piccolo I can really enjoy and appreciate but as soon as Piccolo ends up fighting I believe Kamen she goes on to further use her hacks in escaping Piccolo's stretching arm technique where he grabs her and he tries to strangulate her but she quickly slips out of the way but meanwhile with Goku and hearts every single time Goku is attempting to rush hearts he's using that gravity technique to slam him back down onto the ground and as soon as Goku jumps back in he slams him back down onto the ground again and Fu is just sitting there in his laboratory observing everything and then we get to notice Metal Cooler versus Lags in Universe 3 which is a bit weird considering the fact that Metal Cooler now has been enhanced so much that he's bodying Lags and Lags is the same individual that went as far as to beat the crap out of Goku. Then, out of nowhere, Cumber shows up, and then we have the first battle of Super Saiyan 3 Cumber, or Super Saiyan, depending on how you want to look at it, versus Cooler in his base. And the reason why I say base is because, yes, he does have a golden form. So seeing how much Few was able to enhance Metal Cooler to where he's relative to Cumber is scary. And when having to observe a bit closely, it was Super Saiyan 3 Cumber, and he's punching Metal Cooler, but to no avail. So even while Cumber Super Saiyan 3 is punching Cooler in the face, he's really not taking any damage. Instead, he's just looking at Cumber as if he's crazy. So it's mind boggling to me, and I strongly disagree with the level of, you know, increased power that Metal Cooler has over Cumber because Cumber was shown bodying Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 
20 Vegito, right? So if this is cooler body encumbered, does that ultimately mean that cooler stronger than Vegito? It's insane, but there was a specific scene where Cumber fought against Cooler, and Cooler headbutted Cumber in the chin so hard that it literally forced Cumber in staggering back. So again, in this specific fight, I would say that Metal Cooler was a bit relative to Super Saiyan 3 Cumber until he transformed. And once he transformed, we finally had the debut of Golden Metal Cooler. And the power scaling for this is insane because it's kind of weird to me that the previous Golden Cooler and Super Dragon Ball Heroes didn't do anything. He was complete garbage. But Metal Cooler, Golden Metal Cooler, actually was more in tune, more involved in this specific fight, which I really did appreciate. But as soon as he went golden, he literally bodied Cumber. Of course, not to the point where Cumber wasn't able to fight back, but seeing the way Golden Cooler was able to push back Super Saiyan 3 Cumber, I don't know if I really stand with that because after everything we've seen Cumber do, for Metal Cooler just to simply step in there and just toy around with Cumber so much to where Cumber wasn't even able to touch him, and when he did, we saw how Cumber was getting bodied, so I'm not too sure how I feel about this because I really do enjoy Cumber because by the end of their fight, in some weird fashion, Golden Cooler was able to blast Cumber down. Now keep in mind, this is all because of Few. Few was the one that upgraded Metal Cooler so much so that he allowed him to be like this, which is insane because whatever kind of upgrade Few gave to Cooler allowed him to become so strong that, you know, he was able to best Cumber. Now by the end of their fight, Golden Cooler unleashed from what it seemed to be three supernovas merged into one and as soon as this thing hit Cumber, Cumber literally took it, he tanked it. But the problem was, as soon as he stood back up, he basically dropped down onto the ground and reverted back to his base form. So that, I think, was pretty stupid. I don't agree with the concept of Metal Cooler being this strong, but it is what it is. It's non-canon material, so when we go back to Universe 7, the battle wages on. We see how Piccolo and Seventeen are working together, everyone's fighting alongside each other, other. And then finally, towards like the end of the episode, we finally get to see how Kamen and Orin once again merge together as poor Goku's being held down by the gravity of hearts, which is insane because in Universe 3, we notice how Metal Cooler bodies lags and Cumber, but in Universe 7, Cumber and his team sort of seem like they're winning. But then, as soon as Hearts gets the notification that the Universal Seed is complete, he takes off his coat, he takes off those stupid goggles, and he begins to power up. Now, again, he has like that ultimate Gohan hairstyle. Uh, I've covered it on my channel before, the exclusive cards for Golden Metal Cooler, and I guess you could say Hearts' final form. So as Hearts transforms, he touches the Universal Seed, and he promises as he vows to destroy the gods, the Kaioshin, the angels, the Omni King, and as Goku stands back up only in Super Saiyan mode, he stares back up at hearts as the episode comes to a close. Now, a few things I do want to mention here is the fact that number one, I do not agree with Metal Cooler being as strong as he is. Is it cool to see him have a golden form? Of course it is. But at the end of the day, I don't think that he should have been able to body Cumber the way he did. Number two, if Goku and Vegeta and everyone realize the overwhelming problem that's on their hands, how come they didn't involve Gohan? Where in the world is Beerus and Whis? Why don't they fuse again, you know, using the Metamarese fusion? If the problem is this bad, and plus right now they're in Universe 7, then how come Goku doesn't go off to get Broly? You know, stuff like that. I think the episode was really good. It felt really quick, even though it was about 9 minutes or so. But the whole Metal Cooler thing was kind of wacky to me. I understand the concept behind it. I understand that it's all because of Few. And I'm not sure if Few did this purposely just to put down Cumber for good. But as a means of looking back on it, I really did enjoy Cumber's engagement, but by the end, one must beg the question of what are they going to do with Cumber and Lags now that they're defeated in Universe 3. So again, I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. What did you guys think of Golden Metal Cooler? What did you guys think of his fight with Cumber? What are your thoughts on Hearts now having to be completed, having to have all the energy he needs for the seed 
Let me know your thoughts down below, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Once more, if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon. If you guys love Dragon Ball, give this video a big fat like by slapping a big fat like down below. Tune back in for more, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Have a great day, guys. Peace! This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe, and of course I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unrelent Gaming. Also follow Unrelent Gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times. And if you don't, then very soon you will all be dead! <laughs> oh, did someone say Unrelent Gaming? Oh my god! The fuck, Zabon? Put on some clothes! Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes! Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs> what, Broly? Freezer. Uh-oh. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs>